Hi guys, welcome back to Practice Lab. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in one of the interview conducted by Cognizant. The candidate was a Java developer with 3.5 years of experience. And apart from Java, he was having knowledge of writing REST APIs, Spring Boot, and a little about microservices. Okay, now when he solved this problem statement and answered most of the questions which were asked in that interview, he was selected and he was offered a CTC of 12 LPA. Now let me tell you what was the problem statement and how we solved it using Java stream APIs. So he was given a list of employees and he was asked to find the employees which are eligible for bonus based on their performance and tenure. Okay. So these were the conditions which were given in the problem statement. So the first condition was the employee tenure should be more than three years. Then the performance score should be more than seven. So the performance score was uh, between 1 to 10. Then uh, he was asked to find all such employees name and then he was asked to sort all these employees by alphabetical order or by their name and then all these employees should be joined by comma and it should return a string which will be having all employees which are separated by comma. Okay. So Let's see how to solve this by using Java stream API. So here I'm going to consider employee with these three fields, name, performance score, which will be between one to 10 and a number of years in the company, which is going to be number of years, which are employed. Okay. And I'm going to consider this as a list of employees. Okay. So let's get started. So here you can see I have written a class employee and inside that I have written three fields, name, performance score and years at company. Now let me create getters and setters. I'm going to right click, click on source, then generate getters and setters, select all fields and click on open. Now I got getters and setters. This will be used to get and set the employee details. Then I'm going to use source to generate constructor using fields. So I'm going to click on this and I'll get a <clears throat> constructor with all the fields. Okay, now I'm done with the employee class. Next thing is I need to create a list of employees, which will be my input list. So here you can see I have written another class, employee bonus, and inside that I have written a main method, which is going to be our starting point for program execution. Now let me declare a list of employees. So I'm going to use java.util.list, and this list is going to hold employees. So I'm going to use list of employees. Now I will declare a variable which will be used to hold the employee list. Okay. And here I'm going to use arrays dot as list to initialize this list with the employee details. So I'm going to copy all these employees and I will paste it here. Okay. Now I got the list of employees. Next thing is I need to use stream APIs to find the employees which are eligible for bonus. Okay, so here I need to convert that list into stream. So I'm going to use stream function to convert this list into a stream. Next thing is we need to filter or we need to satisfy all these conditions which were there in problem statement. So first condition is the employee tenure should be more than three years. Okay, so here I'm going to use filter to filter the employees which are having more than three years employment. So here I'm going to check if employee dot get years at company and is years of company should be more than three. That is the first condition. Then the next condition is the performance score should be more than seven. So I'm going to again filter the employees which are having more than seven as their score. Okay. So here again I'm going to use employee dot get performance score and this performance score should be more than seven. Now we got the employees which are employed more than three years and the employees which are having performance score more than seven. Next thing is I need to map or I need to find their name. So I'm going to use map to get the employees name. So here I'm going to use method reference operator to get the employee's name. Okay, so we map all the employees by their name. So we've got employee names. Next thing is we need to sort all these employees 
by their name. Okay, so here I'm going to use sorted function. This sorted function will sort all the employees by their name. And then finally, we need to collect all these employees or we need to join all these employees by comma. Okay, so here I'm going to use collect and inside that collect, there is a function which is collectors dot joining and this joining takes a parameter which will be used to join all this list of employees. Okay, so here this will give me a string. Okay, so here I'm going to use string str equal to employee list. Okay, so this will give me the string which will be joined by comma. So what we did, we had a list of employees. We converted that list of employees by uh, using stream function into a stream. Then we used filter function to filter the employees whose employment tenure was more than three years. Then we used again filter to filter the employees whose performance score was more than seven. Then we used map to get the employee names. Then we sorted those employees by using sorted function. And then finally, we collected all these employees or we joined all these employees by using power. Okay, now I got the final string. Now let me use this out to print that string. Okay, now I'm done with the code. Let us see what is the output. So here you can see Alice and Ev has been my output. So Bob, Charlie, David, and Ev were the four employees. Uh, I think we have one more employee here. So let me recopy these things and paste it here. Okay. Now let us run this code and see the output. So Alice and Ev are the two employees which are eligible for bonus. Let us validate this. So Alice is having performance score as eight and number of years of experience as four. Next thing is this Bob is having performance score as six, which is not satisfying the conditions. Charlie has performance score as nine, but his employment tenure is less than three. So this is also not satisfying the condition. Then David is having performance score as seven <clears throat> and three as a tenure. That is not satisfying condition because we need a performance score more than seven. And here M has performance score, which is more than seven. And a number of tenures is also more than three. So only Alice and Ev are the two employees which are satisfying the condition. Okay, guys. So that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Also, if you need any assistance to crack the interviews, you can connect us at practice lab 23 at directgmail.com.